Well, my name is Gustavo Díaz Arriaza, and today I am going to share with you basically um, our results to finally I write in a paper for the Cloud Security Alliance. Uh, this is my LinkedIn profile. You can find it in LinkedIn, by the way. Uh, well, the paper is based in the what is the best practices you can do like developers and uh, application security professional or DexSecOps for secure smart contacts in Golan? Well, the idea of this paper came after uh, a couple of results I made before when I realized uh, the people are using the hosting technique uh, in a wrong way, also using uh, don't hack a uh, DAS or a dynamic application security te testing a tool because it's no commercial profitable right now. Also, the fact of uh, original or how can I say this? Uh, not region, original, is more like official, official course about how secure applications, in this case, in smart contacts. They don't have an official list of course you need to take because the majority of the things or documentation you can find is in internet. And a couple of YouTube videos you need to follow one after one for complete your training. And for create the secure smart contact development life cycle, I take the old concepts we have for the secure uh, software development life cycle and I made a match of the best technique for the quality insurance uh, professionals, application security and continuous integration need for establish a pipeline secure for the integration and the correct audit for the applications, in this case, the smart contact can be released without major vulnerabilities. The first thing to I realize is the lack of training, like I mentioned before, in a different order. No? But the lack of uh, official training in Golan take me on in smart contact, take me to the idea we need to focus in official training first for the language. For hyperledger, the more common language the hyperledger use a difference of the blockchain is the Golan language. The Golan language is the base for creating the smart contacts. I'm thinking in a moment that in, I split the training in four parts. The first one is more about what official documentation guide on right guide, blog, PDF, audio, video, I can found it from an official organization to take me to learn what is the more common vulnerabilities I can found in Golan in general. No matter if I am trying to develop a web application or AI or smart contract, what is the more dangerous mistake for the persons, in this case, the developers do during the development of applications in Golan. I found uh, all OWASP Golan, well, when I say all, it's not too old, it's only two years old, but it's a, you know, established, certified guide you can use for see what is the more common vulnerabilities in the Golan language. The second one, I found a laboratory about what is the more for testing these bigger vulnerabilities you can plan in the guide before. After that, you can think in outside of the boss, you know, can only test think the smart contact. The majority of the cases right now is you need to consult what is the health status on a smart contact. You can also plan the majority of the smart contacts are the belog inside your clouds, and for that you need to find 
what is the more common vulnerabilities in the APIs, and also the more common vulnerabilities you can find when you develop applications in a microservice. After that, and follow the old standard software security development lifecycle from Microsoft, I realized uh, I need to find some security code libraries or dependencies I can use for, uh, you know, implement directly in all the developments or applications. In this case, a smart contract I am going to hack in the future. For that, I found four libraries to solve the four major problems you are going to have in the Golan. The first one is the lack of authentication or system for locking or authentication or validate is the real user. The second one is the decentralization of information. After that, you have the reputations and the redundancy. For these bigger four problems, I found for each one a library. The problem, for example, in the redundancy or decentralization in these cases can be, for example, the redundancy is very good one in some cases, but if you're using a lot of redundancy, you affect the performance of the application and you don't use it, did not use redundancy, you can follow how it had some small programs to not have contingency problems solved when you are trying to move it out. After the training and found the core libraries for these projects, I made a match between the trend modeling and the software building composition materials. The concept of the software building composition material is you are going to get in a manifest. This manifest is going to tell you where are the software and the technology you are related to your application you develop. And this is going to create a document. But imagine this, the time modeling, also another tool we use for found the full face attack, found the content we need to implement, and also the compliance. If you match these two documents, in this case, one diagram or documents, I don't care in the way you get in the automatic trend modeling or manual trend modeling you made, and you match that with the software building composition material, you can find a middle ground or the things you need to first solve like vulnerability and after that, the control you need to implement. This gives you a, to you a better vision or a second check to validate the problems or the surface attack or the compliance that you are going to follow or the control you want to implement. Because you know, you are using two different concepts for getting almost the same idea. And the idea is limit the amounts of vulnerabilities and limit the amounts of controls you need to implement. For the SACS or review of SACS, static application security testing, you can find currently a very good tool for MADAC. I am not going to spend too much time in this section, only you need to remember, you need to do it. You need to execute this two times per day, depends if it's a module or one time per week, this is only the main functionalities or the applications, all depends on the standard you follow for make this kind of testing. For the software composition analyze, I found, well, we already know for the old traditional application like mobile, APIs, and web pages, we already have our dependency check. Enough, you have, I let you here, a second 
link when you can consult what is the, another tool for make this uh, check of dependency. Remember, for the checking of the dependencies is important because the dependency are full library for three parties we use inside of our application. And with that, we get more functionalities or better good looking of from the for the front end. But it's also dangerous using these code libraries and not testing that because in the majority of the cases, because they are community and somebody can put a danger code inside. For the task, dynamic application security testing, they don't have nothing for testing smart contacts when they are ready for or inside of different nodes. The nodes in the hyperledger environment are the computer. May they change all the smart contacts? And you need to see the smart contact like classes. Programming classes, you are going to change between computers and they are going to make the transaction based on that. But they don't have a way to test in active, they make a dynamic testing environment. For that, you can use different docker container image for split the kind of testing you are going to make. For example, the first one can be used for testing only the cryptography. The second one can be used for testing the strange or the, the smart contact, the interaction between the two nodes. But I found a couple of interesting libraries. The first one is public test network to emulate a complete network for exchange or context. And the second one is Mimimo. That second one is also give you a possibility to testing dynamic the smart contact when they are ready to make the phase of production before. Or made the or facing the phase of production. For the fusing, the fusing is oriented in a bad way. The fusing concept is okay, we are testing different characters and different inputs and in different uh, areas, but the idea of the fusing in a smart contact is testing only four things. The four things you need to testing are the cryptography. Because this is communication between computer and computer. You are not going to have too many interactions for a three party. They to still in this. We, you know, awkward characters. No. You need to test in the cryptography for see if somebody is going to die uh, may um may in the middle. The second second thing you need to test in the redundancy of the, the algorithms for searching. What is the best no for interact? Because it's danger you alter that algorithm because you can get in a smart contact in a different no or no authorized no. The strange or the hashes, and also the strange or the keys you are going to share with the other no. In this case, like I said before, the nodes are the computer. For the Department of the Quality Insurance, yes, you need to a lot of tools for testing the performance and testing different things like how many times going to process an interaction for change smart contacts, in this case, money inside of the smart contacts between nodes. For the continuing integration, I found tools you can use inside of the eye, for example, the Visual Studio Code attack. And this intelligence or intelligence tool give you the opportunity to review what is the vulnerability in the same time you are programming the code for the smart content. For the RAS technology, I don't recommend use RAS for smart contacts for the interactions because the RAS is a WAF. And here inside of smart contact, 
is don't have too much things to use our for learning possible attacks because you are not going to have a very good perspective on the attacks you are going to suffer because after program programs you are going to found in the code for the lack of controls or a possible attack into the currency, the redundancy of the code of the algorithm for a chain, the smart contract is not possible you had too much information between the computers or the nodes beside the hatch and the keys that I mentioned before. Well, right now I am going to show you a piece of information we develop like company focus in the first problem we found before, the learning problem. For the learning problem, problem we found in different companies, we are realized we don't have a small piece of course we can assign to different users and we use it, I am talking about developers, quality insurance professionals, team lead, application security, and other professionals inside the organizations based in the real time attacks we suffer inside an organization. ATAS connect directly from a pool of using the connection between other technologies like the SIM or the monitoring stuff. And he interact with this, give you a second validation of the vulnerability inside of the organization. And after that, he looking in internet, what is the better courses? No matter if this course is a block, a web block, no matter is a, a video, no matter is an audio book. And based on the roles, the criticity, and the performance or the well, performance and knowledge of the person is going to receive the course, he's going to attach these small courses for the persons getting a quick response and can and he can found well found not because it has made the found he can resolve and fix the vulnerabilities they are facing inside of the, of the organization in real time. What, what is the reason this is important? Because we jump the idea to take long courses and go directly to solve the problems in real time. And no need to wait two, three months of theoretical courses with lack of practices in the majority of the time or practice not applied to the environment we had inside the organization for fix their vulnerabilities. What well, I hope you like the presentation of this little uh, paper and also demo. And if you don't have any question, I am going to let you say you say you had a very good ending of the day and I hope you like this presentation.